Fanatics, what's going on? It's your boy DM3, and I'm dropping another video. Today, I want to talk about defensive tackle Ed Oliver. Is he as good as we think he is? Is he the real deal? Do you believe the hype? Let's talk about it right now. You know I'm on fire. If you don't know who I be, you better ask somebody about me. Oh. So before we get into the video, I'm going to drop a disclaimer on this one. I'm not going to throw a bunch of highlight packages in here. There may be a couple images, but I'm just going to give you the straight up facts about Ed Oliver. Let's see. Where do we begin? Let's talk about the pro day for Ed Oliver. Houston's pro day. The writing was on the wall that Sean McDermott, Brandon Bede had heavy, heavy interest in Ed Oliver. As you can see by the picture, Sean McDermott got an up close and personal view of Ed Oliver at his pro day. Now. People want to compare him to Aaron Donald. That's the common comparison, which I understand because Aaron Donald is not your prototypical defensive tackle. You know, Aaron Donald, six foot one, 280 pounds. You know, he gets pressure, he gets sacks, accumulated a ton of sacks last season. Now, should we expect that kind of production from Ed Oliver year one? I don't think so. I think that's unfair, but I think going into year two, three, and four, I think he can progress into something close to Aaron Donald. Now let's look at the two. Aaron Donald, six foot one. Ed Oliver, six foot two. Aaron Donald, 280 pounds. Ed Oliver, 287. So a lot of people are saying that Ed Oliver is undersized to play the defensive tackle position. How is he undersized? This guy is built with speed. He's built with strength. I mean, 32 bench press reps at, at his pro day. 32 bench press reps at the combine. This guy is a beast. Now, if you want to look at some other stuff to kind of compare him to how he stacks up, because he is a freak of nature, just look at his pro day and his combine day compared to some other NFL stars. You know, the 36 inch vertical, which, you know, Von Miller, that's just short of Von Miller's 36 and a half inch vertical. You know, we want to talk about, you know, the, the 10 foot broad jump. That's the same as a wide receiver in Amari Cooper. That's ridiculous. Other things we can talk about too is the 4.22 shuttle time, which is as good as Saquon Barkley. We all know how good Saquon Barkley is. So if we're talking about sure strength, speed, determination, all that, Ed Oliver has it. Another thing that can't be overlooked is the fact that in Houston, Ed Oliver was not playing the three technique that he's used to playing, that, that he's accustomed to. So guess what? The Bills are gonna play him as a three technique defensive tackle, which should only make him better. Now, if you guys have watched any videos, he's already working out with some of the defensive linemen. He's working with Jerry Hughes. He's down in Houston. He's doing all kinds of things. The man is quick. He looks like he's faster than Jerry Hughes. And Jerry Hughes has amazing technique, footwork, hands, all that good stuff. So. Do I think that Ed Oliver can come in from Houston being a rookie and make an immediate impact? No. Will he make an impact on this roster going forward? Yes. Now everybody's making a lot of presumptions because he's not getting the first team reps, you know, in training camp and OTAs. They were giving them all to Jordan Phillips. That's okay because as you know, Brandon Bean and Sean McDermott like these rookies to earn it. They like to have them understand what it takes to work with the third team, what it takes to work with the second team and work your way onto the first team. And Ed Oliver has done nothing but work hard and show that he is the guy that they want him to be. Now, ultimately, Ed Oliver hasn't played one snap in the NFL. So it's really, really premature to say that he is going to be the best thing since Aaron Donald. But if you look at the intangibles, if you look at the speed, if you look at the size, if you look at how strong this man is, he is going to be a force to be reckoned with. Let me know what you think. Drop your comments down below. Am I crazy? Am I overhyping this guy too much? Is the hype real? I think the hype is real. I think that we have a stud that we took at number nine. And if most of you people don't know, the Bills tried to make a trade with the New York Giants to move up to get Ed Oliver. That's how much in love with him that they were. The Giants said, hey, we're taking a quarterback. So Ed Oliver thankfully fell right to the Bills at nine. And I think that it's gonna be a match made in heaven. 
Drop your comments below. Let me know what you think. If you guys haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the little notification bell. You know, share this video, like it. If you're watching on Facebook, as always, I'm DM3. You know, share it, spread the word, like it, throw some comments in there. Until the next one, I'm DM3 and I'm gone.